let's set up a scheduled job in Backup Exec 20. So first thing we're going to do is we can see that we have a job, a server here actually, and we want to schedule a new job that will back up every night. So what we want to do is right click on that server, go to backup and choose backup to disk. And so now we see on the left hand side is going to be all the different uh, resources that we're going to be backing up. And on the right hand side, we see the types of backups. So let's go ahead and click edit. And we can see that we have the schedule. And by default, it's going to do a full backup once a week. You can see here every week on Friday. And it's going to do an incremental backup at 11 o'clock every day. So if we like that idea, that's great. Let's go ahead and leave it. If we don't, we can click on the drop down arrow. We can say, hey, we don't want to do this Friday. We want to do it on Saturday. So let's go ahead and choose Saturday, uncheck Friday. And we don't want to do it at 10 or 11 o'clock. We want to do it at 10 o'clock. And then we don't want it to start on this date. We want it to start on this date. So that allows us to change all different kinds of information about when it's going to start, et cetera. All right, so let's go ahead and click OK on that. And then let's click Edit again. And down where it says incremental, we can go ahead and hit the drop down and we can make some similar changes. We can say different uh, time of night. We can say instead of days, we could do weeks, months, years, whatever it is we want. All right, so now we can go ahead and go to the storage and choose whichever storage we want. You can see that we have a storage disk already, or you can choose a storage pool where there may be multiple different uh, storage devices in there, and it'll choose uh, one disk that's available, and then when that fills up, it'll choose the next disk. We also have the option for how many weeks we want to keep it, and by default, for a full backup, it's going to be two weeks, and for an incremental, it's going to be one week. That's typically not long enough for most companies who like to keep things for months or years, uh, but it really depends on if you have multiple different devices, it depends on what your policy is at your company, and also how much storage is on the device. If you have a 100 terabyte drive, then you could easily change that from four weeks to you could go into uh, years or you could go into, say, 20, you know, 26 weeks for half a year, you know, that kind of thing. We can also compress the data as well. So if we use software compression, then that will compress the data. Now, re restoration will take a little bit longer, but um, it will uh, use your storage a lot more efficiently if you choose that. And then you could also choose to encrypt it, and we would need to set that up ahead of time with some encryption keys beforehand. If we go to network, we can say use any available interface or you could choose a specific one. So if you have multiple different interfaces and you want to choose one that the clients are not using, you can choose that. Notifications, we did this in a previous video, video but you can go ahead and choose to have this notified to by the administrator to the administrator. And then we have a test run. You can do a test run first to see if it's going to work properly. Verification, typically I do not verify the job because it makes it take twice as long. But if you have that extra time and it doesn't cut into the, the workday, then feel free to go ahead and choose that at the end of the job. Uh, you can also go into advanced open file option. Uh, this is by default turned on using the snapshot technology. Basically it uses volume shadow service to back up a file that may be open. So it makes a copy of the open file, then backs up the copy rather than the live one. We have some additional options as well that you can go through, such as Active Directory, SQL, and if this is another type of server, like say an Exchange server, then you would see the option for Exchange as well. And when everything's set up the exact way you want it, you click OK. Now let's say we don't want to go with an incremental uh, backup. Let's say we want to go with a differential backup, which is a different type of backup. So incremental backs up any changes since the day before, whereas differential backs up anything since the last full backup. So the incremental is going to be faster. Uh, the differential is going to take longer. But uh, the good news is with differential, if any uh, of the previous backup job days are bad, it doesn't matter it, it, because it backs up changes since the last full backup since yes, since uh, instead of since yesterday, like incremental does. So incremental has a little bit higher risk of failure, but it does back up faster. So you just have to choose which is more important to you. So let's go ahead and say we, we don't want uh, one of the incremental backups. We would like to do a differential. So we go to the top and we choose differential instead. And we'll just go ahead and give this the name of differential. 
And then we can just leave everything else set to the defaults if we want. Go ahead and click OK and click OK. So now our backup job schedule is complete and it will start at the day and time we told it to do so.